Good evening, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and this evening I'm really pleased to, to present you with this uh, beautiful meal that we made for ourselves. This is uh, turmeric, uh, potato and hakanoko bee larvae soup with some uh, fried uh, pearl perch. We didn't show that in the video and we've got some of our artisan bread toast and uh, anyway we'll show you how we go about making this, um, this soup. So, for a start, I've got uh, some uh, three uh, fish frames here, just cooking down. I'm just going to get all the good stock out of those fish frames. I've got three cups of water with three small fish frames, including the heads in there. So that's just going to uh, cook down. I've got one cob of the uh, super sweet corn uh, cooking uh, out of our garden. Now. In uh, this saucepan here, I've got about a tablespoon of olive oil and two of these ice blocks of um, finely minced turmeric. That's fresh, finely minced turmeric. So to that, I'm going to add um, well, I've added a tablespoon of minced ginger. That's uh, out of our garden. And uh, I'll turn that on. And uh, maybe two uh, reasonable sized cloves of garlic. I'm just going to mince those and put them in there. Mince that. And uh, I've also got the, uh, a little handful of these uh, young red shallots. So I've just chopped up the lower portion. Just going to cook them up with the ginger and the garlic and the turmeric. I'm just going to saute that for a little while until it's all cooked. This, uh, these fish frames, I'm just going to gently break it all up so that I get all the goodness out of the frame but I don't want to bring it to a hard boil. I don't want to boil it too hard and get that real fishy flavour out of it. Okay, so the next thing here, this is all cooked. And I've got a little bit of glazing on the bottom of the saucepan and I've got half a cup of coconut milk or cream uh, I'm just going to use that and uh, remove all the uh, glazing on the bottom and get that beautiful colour. And, uh, and that's that part. I've got the heat turned off on that. And uh, the next part, you now this fish has been simmering for a little while, so the next part is to strain all the uh, juice out of here. into another saucepan. So, uh, uh, no. so what I'm going to do is remove the big bones, there's a, the head bones, I'm going to re remove those and the big bones and, uh, and I'll show you how I'm going to get the rest of the juice out of all the small bits. Alright, okay, so once you've removed all the big bones and the head bones and that, you can get all these other stuff, all these other small bits in the potato ricer and squeeze the juice out, just squeeze all the juice out of it, like that, you can see, you can just work on it and get all the juice from all those little bones. Right, so the next thing to do now, our water's, uh, our fish has all been strained, we've got this beautiful fish dock, now we've got uh, washed and cut up uh, 700 grams of um, these are a mixture of Dutch cream and Sebago potatoes. So they haven't been peeled, just uh, and just going to put them in this stock and uh, let them cook in the stock. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of sea salt. A teaspoon of sea salt. So this is, um, the other thing I'm going to add to these potatoes when they're cooking is um, the higher up portion of these green onions here. These young shallots are all chopped up. Right, so I'm just, uh, I, I did this a couple of days ago. I've got all this bee larvae, pupae out. Um, I've got a nice amount. They're all part of my swarm control strategy. And I'm just going to get a good coffee cup for this soup. And uh, we, might, we might make a couple of other dishes um, over the next few days with the rest of it. And we might freeze some. So 
So it's a really good source of protein and amino acid and other vitamins and enzymes. So it's really fantastic. And uh, it's easy to get if you've got bees, that is. And uh, I started making out a list of pros and cons. And I got uh, all the pros filled up a whole fool's cap page and I couldn't find one con. I couldn't find one thing that was against using bee larvae to put on the con page, con side. So that speaks for itself, I reckon. Now that's our bee larvae for our soup. That's all drone, drone larvae. Or 95% of its drones. So, uh, looks nice and fluffy. Beautiful. Right, next thing I'm going to do in, for this soup is chop up some of this Malabar. This uh, Ceylon spinach. I've got some uh, vine with some young buds mm -hmm. and some leaf. Just going to chop it up. And oh, my this, favourite. This makes a beautiful uh, thickener for the soup. So I'm just going to cut it up both ways. It tastes yummy. It does, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Well, um, everything's cooked. Yeah, potatoes are cooked. The next stage is to put some of these colder ingredients in because I want to blend it with our plastic hand blender. So I've got all our um, spices with the coconut milk. Mmm, looks yummy. We've got some, uh, or what would that be, a cup oh, of cooked uh, rainbow easy, chard. Yeah, easily. Rainbow chard. Our sweet corn has been taken off the cob, it's nice and cool. Now put in a couple of tablespoons of uh, light sour cream. I'll scoop the rest of that out. I think I nearly forgot something. Um, yeah, uh, some of this nice year beauty sweet chili sauce. Uh, Malabar spinach. Last but not least, our yeah, hack and echo. So what I'm going to do is uh, put this on the bench and just blend it with my hand blender. So just uh, finishing off blending this, um, turning into a beautiful looking soup. So. Um, have a little taste. Oh, it tastes beautiful. Um, so we're going to serve it up directly. Well, actually, it turned out quite green, but um, there's a bit of yellow there from the turmeric. And um, it's beautiful. Yeah, we had and it both. It looks had, lovely. We both had a taste, and uh, I like the contrasting colour of the dark green and the light green. Mm. <laughs> Okay. okay, all right, so we'll get we'll get on to this. We're going to eat this. We're going to enjoy it and um, We'll catch you later. All the best. Bye <laughs>